This shiny logo animation looks advanced, but it's actually super easy in After Effects. So guys, let me show you exactly how you can make it in a few minutes. So guys, we are already in After Effects and we are going to start the new composition. It's over here, so I will just use this properties. Here guys, we are going to create a player like this using our rectangle tool. Uh, we are going to align it to the center. I uh, use only fill and here we are going to choose color, something like this. In the properties, increase the roundness and duplicate it. Now guys, we are going to make duplicated layer like this. We are going to make a mask. We need to use the subtract mode and also use the mask feather, just a little bit. Um, now let's hide it. And guys, after that, all we need just to make a shape layer. I will show you now how it looks. So it looks like this. Actually, it's not that hard. All you need just to use your pen tool and make some points like this and after that you can adjust it everything i'm pressing alt making it some curves yeah i'm adding some curves here and also i'm just making it it just like that so it shouldn't be perfect uh, but all you need guys i will remove it right now um, all we need just to make our gradient color something like this. It looks a bit messy, yeah, but uh, that's what we need. And by the way, guys, I will drop the project file. If you make something wrong, you will be able to download it and you can see how everything works from the inside, yeah. Yeah, but if you want to create animations like Epta or other top creators and maybe even start making money with it, I've got something for you. I made a course for beginners and beyond with 10 clear modules and project files that get updated over time. You will learn how to make professional motion graphics and after finishing the course you will have the skills to start working with clients or even build your own income online. This is exactly how I started. The link to the course in the description. Do not waste your time guys, I will just duplicate it like this. Uh... I will remove these effects right now, I don't need it, also I will remove our keyframes and that's what you will have when you will make uh, your shape layer with, the, uh, with your pen tool, yeah? Uh, after that you can use the rotation to make it in this way, so we will make the animation from the bottom point on, to the top, somewhere here, yeah? Like this and now let's set it over here so guys uh, we want to find the color dodge mode it's over here and also you can see that um, I'm used the I use the composition here over here so you can use for this layer composition as well uh, now guys uh, all we need about effects uh, this are Last box blur like this. So let it be about five. Then we are chromatic aberrations. We are not going to make something here. Just leave it like that and find a displacement map. So we need to recompose this layer that we did before like this. And after that. Uh, we can make it in this way and now we can turn it off like this and over here we can make something out like this but you can play with this uh, properties so you can make it as you wish for your own style yep so all we need just to make animation from the bottom over here yeah and also guys I'd like to use these keyframes easy east and make them like this so now we are going to create this 
play button like this so it shouldn't be perfect as well let's set it uh, to the middle as well we also need our uh, background like uh, rectangle yeah So guys, I will use the gradient like this, it will be our background uh, rectangle, something like that, and also guys, we need to add some waves, yeah, as you already saw, I used some waves, so probably we will make it together as well, so I'm going to make it in this way, and also let's choose the white color for it, now I will make mask i will use the subtract mode for it like this let's increase just a bit our feather and also we are going to find the wave warp so wave speed that would be about 0.3 let's add some glow effect for this also uh, but here guys i will set everything to zero probably also guys, we are going to apply this displacement map to our um, like rectangle yeah, over here, so, so we will name it like a glow or name it as you wish. We are going to find it over here, so something like this and oh guys, over here you can adjust your waves as you want. As I said, uh, I will drop my project, project file yeah, and you will be able to see how everything works inside here. But to save your time, I will just leave it uh, like that. Uh, our play button, guys, I am setting to the top and I will use the hard mix mode here. And don't forget to place it uh, at the top over here. So. Let's see how it looks right now. Hey guys, it looks actually very, very expensive, I would say, yeah. And actually guys, that's it. You can play with the colors, you can play with the shapes uh, and make your own styles. So I will just uh, add some background. The gray color looks a bit better yet yeah, than the dark one uh, as we did over here. So guys, as I said, you can play with it. I just tried to make everything fast. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and it was really useful. You are my motivation, please uh, write some comments below and I will make the next video as soon as I can. And don't forget about that you can uh, buy my course and start learning much more animation like this and even better. So thank you so much guys, I appreciate you all, goodbye.